Hey, what's going on, YouTube? Welcome to another episode of How It's Designed. In this video, we're going to be breaking down the design of the iconic Apple iPad first generation. So let's just jump into it. So for the purpose of this part, we're just going to do the entire iPad as one part in SolidWorks. So let's start from the beginning where we have our first sketch where we have imported uh, this sketch picture here with the general blueprint of the iPad that we can find off Google. So we have both of our sketches imported that can allow us to get the overall dimensions, width, length, depth of the device. And we're just going to outline, start outlining a just a generic rectangle like shown here. So let's show this sketch. If we go to sketch three and show this, we can see that we have another um, similar image, except for this sketch, we're doing the depth, kind of the curve backing to the iPad. So we have both those sketches like show like like that and now we want to do a boundary surface where we kind of use this feature to stitch it all together so we have sketch five which is going to be this outline this profile here it's basically a spline to get that curved backing. And then we are going to exit out of that and go to sketch four here, where we're gonna start properly outlining the rectangle, the, the top rectangle better with some radiuses around the corners. So once we have the, the depth, length, and width defined, we can go in and do our um, our surface feature here where we're selecting these two, sketch four and sketch five, like we showed in the tree. Um, and that's about it. Hit OK. we can go let's turn these sketches off so that's what it's gonna look like with our boundary surface here what if we change this to that point one better see what I'm doing there reverse tangent direction Let's zoom in more we're gonna keep it like that point one Boom. Okay. Let's go to our next feature where we have the chamfer around the edges swept along that profile. So we have this sketch here. You can see the preview of it, the preview of it in yellow. We have this 45 degree chamfer shown here. We can always change the, the depth of this. So if we go 4.5, let's see what happens. The 
it just adds a little bit more. Boom. So we have that sketch and we have, again, we show this, we have our path that we outlined in the previous sketch just around the perimeter. And we do a surface sweep where we select sketch six as our profile, sketch four as the path, and we hit okay. So now we're at this point. Make a solid, make a, uh, a plane, look at the normal view just on top, like so. So we can lay down our top surface and screen. We're gonna do a surface plane feature. If you don't know how to do that, you go into insert surface planer and we're going to base that off of sketch seven. This is going to lay down where our actual screen goes. So just basically a, a rectangle front and center like so. And we're going to get ready to select that for our surface plane has to be a closed loop sketch. So we got that. Same thing with sketch nine, fully defined closed loop sketch right around the edge. So we have those two surface planes. We're gonna mirror the whole thing. So now we have a full device starting to look like something Basically just selected all those features, mirrored it about the right plane here. Boom. So it's starting to look like something. Let's, let's hide. How do we hide that one sketch? Hide. We're going to knit the whole thing so that's one seamless surface. Just selecting all the features because essentially they're all surfaces still. Moving on towards the split line. This is going to be for the little touch circle that lets you select things and go back and to the home screen on the device. So we have our sketch here, little circle at the bottom. We're going to do a split line feature, basically just cuts those sketch lines and makes it so you can select it independently from other surfaces. So we selected sketch 10 going all the way through this face. We're going to cut out a little thumbprint for that little button at the bottom. So we did a little revolved cut of this profile here. 180 degrees. So you have that little dimple. And now we can start cutting away around the edges for little SD card slots and buttons and things like that. So we have this sketch here at the bottom where we have these little slots, this rectangle in the center. We 
We extruded that. Oops. Let's make this depth. Looks like the this profile. Let's make this uh, 6.78. little bit more all right moving forward we do the same thing for these slots here we do another split line on we do an offset entities for these curves basically the perimeter on the top and we can use that for the metallic border that you see here the aluminum frame so we just did a split feature of that of sketch 13 Anyway, phase one, phase two, hit okay. Laptop is running out of battery here, so I gotta wrap this up. Um, we're gonna sketch around on the right surface here, on the right side. This is gonna be our volume button and another little port here same idea where we're cutting we're going to cut away material there and this one we're going to extrude it out and then we're going to cut a little profile a little v-shape like that sketch there about the mid point to get the little volume up and volume down tabs. And add some fillets to it. So moving on. Little another knob that we extruded. Now we're starting on the top, adding our features there. I can't believe the first gen iPad had this many buttons. So we've got our sketch laid out here on the top. a shallow cut here into the material boom same for that to this slot out still from sketch 17 let's show this show that sketch so we extrude that and now we are moving on towards the back markings or sorry the uh, this little symbol at the bottom we can sketch a square for that like so it's that home symbol or whatever Apple uses for that little button down there and then we can do a split line feature on that profile to give it its own color make it stand out more so we select that sketch 18 that we just looked at, click face one, which is this, hit okay. You get the idea. 
And then we have a bunch of other split lines for the markings on the back. We can look at, um, we've got the Apple symbol. So you can show this. You can make a sketch of logos and things like that, and you can etch them into the back to show the product markings. You got iPad, 64 gig. Do split lines to color them in, make them stand out more. All right, let's hide that. Same thing here, let's go normal to that got the 64 gigabyte text here all right after all those split lines we can add a decal on the let's back up a little bit We can add our final surface plane on the top for the decal. So we just select that outline. Those edges for the, the top plane, again to do surface plane you go into insert surface, planar surface and select edges um, and then we finally knit all those surfaces together so it's again it's an iPad just one part with all the buttons and things like that just extruded cuts or extrusions um, you can get this image off the internet you just to do that you go to your appearance manager and go to decal you can find an image and just throw the decal on there make it look legit so that pretty much wraps up the ipad first generation very iconic device from apple stands the test of time um for more videos, I'm going to start a website pretty soon and launch it. It's going to be called howitsdesign.com where you can find fuller length videos and extra bonus videos that I won't put on YouTube, just on my channel, or I mean my website. And you can find downloadable models, CAD models as well on there. So stay tuned for the next video. Be sure to share this video with anybody you might feel is interested and uh, I'll talk to you guys later.